also adds the contrast needed. Then, when you're ready, pick a corner of your project and set the stamp onto the concrete. Pat it down with a hand tamer to ensure a complete transfer of the stamp pattern to the concrete. Next, set your second mat as close as possible to the first, leaving no gaps between them. This will prevent misshapen grout lines and reduce the need for any touch-up work. Continue down the length of your slab and use a flex mat when you reach a section that requires less than a full stamp. When removing your stamps to begin the next row, always pick them directly upward without twisting or angling to avoid smearing your hard work. And if you do need to touch up any joints or a bit of the texture pattern, the Marshalltown Touch-Up Wheel is a great tool you can use to level out your grout lines and maintain pattern continuity. Repeat this process for the entire slab, then allow it to cure completely, typically 24 to 36 hours, before pressure washing the excess release colorant. Allow your project to dry completely